My name is Colonel Robert Evans Jefferson, Jr. I'm 46 years old. Of that 46, 26 years I spent in this man's United States Army. The first 12 of them 26 I spent training, training to kill you. And do you know why that is? No, sir! Because at that time, Russia was the sworn enemy of the United States government. But time brings about change. And now it seems that we're all getting along, so to speak. That is why we are here, in this high security level Russian facility, having ourselves a friendly chat. Now, for those of you that don't know where we are, this is the Russian-American Joint Military Operations Center, RAMJO for short. From here, we can access over 300 Russian and American military satellites and operation centers. From here, we will have constant monitoring of every aspect of this mission. And the target location will be transmitted directly to me so that we can effectively capture this, this 85-foot, 12-ton python. Now, I know you've all been briefed on the mission, so I'll cut straight to the chase. The target's been located about 300 clicks east of here in a large cabin in the Ural Mountains. Sergeant Ivan Petrov here and his men will drive the creature towards me and my boys. But we'll be waiting. Two R-500 stun guns. The creature will then be subdued and prepped for transportation back to the United States. Now, our good old Uncle Sam is going to pay the Russian government a mighty pretty penny for the safe retrieval and transportation of this creature back to America. So I want to make one thing perfectly clear. From where I'm standing, I see two potential problems. What is that, sir? First of all, I'm an American officer commanding uh, Russian soldiers. Is that a problem? No, no sir! No, I'll stand it. Second is, I'm a black man. And I know ain't no brothers in all the Russian military, so it's too goddamn cold for one. Is that a problem? No, no sir! No, well, stand it. I'll see you boys in the chopper. All right, we're five minutes from the drop zone. Petro, as soon as you and your boys ready, I want you to drop down straight through that eye and drive that son of a bastard right into me and my boys' laps. Yes, sir. All right. Now listen up. Small arms fire only. Unless there's no other choice. The United States paid for a live snake, not a hamburger. Am I clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Outstanding. I'm really beginning to like you boys. This one's by 
lot of numbers. Roger, Alpha One, we have no authorization for backup. No authorization? What the hell are you talking about? Sorry, Alpha One. Our order was to supply you with one team and transport the target. What you mean to say is that's all you was paid to do? Our order was to supply you with one team Alpha and transport one the out. target. Cheap ass CIA and a budget cut. They let all our asses perish if it save them a buck or two. This thing just got one of my men. Now you listen to me, Sergeant. Your government's being paid $50 million to deliver a live snake, not a dead one. If it's dead, the price drops to $5 million. Now, do you honestly want me to report back that your actions here is costing the Russian government $45 million? I don't think so. Now, that thing's 200 meters ahead, right behind that Del Rock. I want you to get two of your men behind it. Have them open up with a series of explosions and small arms fire only. And drive it straight back to me and my boys. We're waiting to give it 500,000 amps of pure power. Yes, sir. Charges, Sergeant. Get the boat! Detonate your charges, Sergeant! That's an order!
Well, Sergeant, look like you made your government $50 million richer. Russian soldier got 300 rubles a month. Colonel. Outstanding. Alpha One, you can send in the pickup team. I've got one big snake ready for a departure. Start on engine number one. All right, she's back online. That's right, it's almost right. Every instrument we have. Get these people on the horn. Jesus! Howie man, one back six. Say again, Howie man, one back six. Hostile. Stand by to declare an emergency. We're gonna have to divert. Change course now. We're gonna fly straight to the Chesapeake Beach. If we stay steady, we're gonna fly right into the heart of this fucker. Screw it. Cargo. This is cockpit. You copy, Doc. 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 I'm copy. Why are we turning? What's your status? We cannot divert. Cargo status. Doc, I need answers now. Doc. Doc. You copy, Doc. Damn it. Ooh. Oh, 
Chechens most definitely. Get on the radio to air command. Get the latest on any missing planes. Sir, I think you need to see this, sir. American. Sir, over here! again. I know. I hate that. I know. Remember the money. I know. Mr. Stoddard, it's a pleasure to see you and your lovely wife again. <laughs> I'll bet it is. You have all of my cargo? Sure do. I'll be right down. Yourself, Mr. Stoddard. I'm impressed. Did you have any trouble with the authorities? No, let's just wrap this up, Aziz. You know, your wife looks exceptionally lovely today. So we're good? What is this? We agreed U.S. dollars, 10,000 U.S. dollars. We had a deal, Aziz. Perhaps you should register a complaint, Mr. Stoddard. With who? I do not know. Pack it up, we're out of here. The cargo will stay with me. Take what I've offered you and leave, now.
Put this back in my crate on your way out. Hey, Stoddard! I'll throw in a thousand for a night with your wife. U.S. dollars! Mr. Larson. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't break anything. No problem. How much does he owe you? How much? It's been paying ten thousand dollars US. this? It's a check. Who are you? You owe me $10,000. I think I, I can arrange that. Oh, I'm sure you can. Well, you can. Yeah, that's what I want to say. You should have said 20. Uh, well, he's a schemer, but we sometimes have to do business with him. Thanks again. I mean, for the check. Hey, it's the uh, least I can do, but I need just give you ten thousand dollars, all right? I saw you out. I have a proposition for your company. Okay, why us? Well, Emil. Uh, why you? Well, because uh, I'm on a deadline, and you're the only game in town. Before I get into this, Nolly, are you still a Russian citizen? Yes, but... All right, listen up, guys. A couple days ago, we had an American plane go down in eastern Russia, a cargo plane. Fortunately for us, some of the locals investigated it. It didn't take them long to determine that the uh, plane was American, so they reported it to the authorities. What, they have survivors? No, I'm afraid not. Fortunately, the uh, cargo did survive. They took it to a military base near Volgonansk, and we need to go pick it up. How big is your cargo? It's big enough that I need your truck and your services. Coxie. Huh? So what does this have to do with my Russian citizenship? Merci. Russian customs. It's easier to get freight in and out of Russia if the shipping company isn't foreign. $100,000 US. Upon delivery of goods to Munich, I'll take the cargo back by air to the States. I need an answer now, I got no time. <laughs> so this is the hard sell? Yeah, real hard sell. $100,000 of a real hard sell. Sounds pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Two hours. Two hours. Okay. I'll be at the Ottoman, you know where that is? Mm -hmm. Two hours. $100,000, think about it. What the hell was that? Grab the baseball. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen anything like it? Never. We're getting contradictory readings from it. I'm hesitant about proceeding further before we know what it is. Kinetic sensors are tripping. I'm detecting movement inside. I do not want that opened yet. The harm's being done, Doctor. 
Bez chevalu. Go. What's your problem? Don't you think it sounds a little strange? What? Larsen, showing up like that with a check. I don't trust him. All right, let's have it. It doesn't make sense. No one has luck like this, especially us. I just don't think his story sounds right. Great, honey. You want me to pass up on a $100,000 contract guaranteed by the U.S. government because my wife doesn't think it sounds right? Who hands someone a check for $10,000? Hey, the check was good. Maybe he needs our services really bad. Oh, that badly. Hey, at least he's American. Hey. And all Americans are honest, right? $100,000. You know what we could do with that? Quit the shipping crap. I'll take you out of here. I can take you to where? America? What is the point of US dollars after all if we can't use them in the US? What happened? What I did. It's not something you just get over. You know why. Quit punishing yourself. You're a good man, that's why I love you. You have to let the past go. Nalia. We have to do this for us. Please. All right. I will do this with you. But you have to promise me. Hmm. Promise me we go to America. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's go home. Mm, yeah, puppy. Yeah, I guess it does. 
Nelly? It's my loader, Vladi. Vladi, nice to meet you. I brought a little extra help for you, too. How big did you say this cargo was? It's big. I'll help you. Matthew Co. Hi. Here's the map. Highlighted the route on there. If you follow us, there shouldn't be any problems. And cell phone. Push send, it'll get me direct. Finally, papers, bills of lady. You guys have your passports, right? Yeah, we do. Something, man. Some big boys. Look more like bodyguards. Yeah, we um, genetically enhance our employees to increase productivity. You kidding? <laughs> uh, Greg, I need some information on the cargo sizes. Greg. Doing? Dwight Stoddard. We know who you are. I love baseball. I saw you playing in New York. What a career. Now you're here. Let's get rolling. Dwight? Hey, is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You're right about these jokers. Well, we had no problems with customs. Are you still feeling confident with all this? I don't know. I kind of like to check out the team before I sign up. But $100,000. Maybe they're not so bad. Here we go. Data's coming through now. Compound's low security. We should be able to move in and secure the base without any problems. Get my cargo. They won't be expecting us. There's two entry points to the sub levels. We secure both of them. If anything goes wrong, we'll use them as a fallback area. We won't need a fallback area. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Everyone. Turn your phone, please. Morning. So what is the problem? Nobody seems to be at the gate. All right, we're 
gonna go inside and check things out. You wait in the truck, all right? Let's go. Follow us inside. How long till we get to work? Else starting to get a bad feeling about this? After really sneaking onto a Russian military base. Just keep telling yourself one hundred thousand dollars. That's gonna affect your job, starter. Who are you people? Don't fuck with me, Larson. Tell me what's going on, or I'll wheel my truck out of here faster than. Is there any problem? Stoddard, this cargo is extremely important to us, so. So don't fuck with me, all right? So what are you gonna invade Russia? We're getting what's ours and we're leaving. Prep your damn truck. Let's split up. You two this way. Get up, but follow me. Nothing at all. There is no one here. Place is deserted. What? I'm getting the same losses. This place is cleared out. Continue sweeping the area. Crowley, move to the south entrance. Everybody stay sharp. All right, copy that. What the hell they're doing? I can't see anything from here. Well, I gotta take a piss. Well, Larson said we should stay here. I gotta go, Malia. Hey, don't let Larson get to you that way. Let's just finish this job and get out of here, okay? Brother, report. Place looks deserted. Moderate damage to the complex. There has been fighting here. Copy that. Hold your position.
Hey, I just gonna take a leak. Didn't then get back with the truck. We're not ready for a help yet. Contact when you find the entrance. Copy. Larson. Larson, let's go. Larson, let's go. Temper. With the truck? You moron. I'm sorry I got you into this. It will be okay. The adventures you take me on. It's like being married to a gypsy. You gotta see this. Focus the primary entrance. Guys, what's your position? Finishing out his whip. He does in the main bunker. Shit. We found the secondary entry point. Looks like an old missile bunker. Copy. Stand by. He said, stand by. I found the access. Copy that. Head for the main bunker. Maybe Chechens could have done this. Let's get back to the truck. Whoa! I got the dead guy. McEwen, quit playing around and move.
Get the fuck out of there! What the hell was that? I don't give a shit. We're out of here. Nolly, get back to the truck. Damn it, Stoddard, I told you to wait at the truck! Can't you follow simple instructions? I said, I will call you. See you later, Larson. Buddy! I don't copy, say again. Are you okay? Yeah. What the hell happened? I don't know. Did you see what did this? No. You didn't see anything? No. What the hell happened to my truck? This is Larson, our friends out of the bag. This mission's a scrub. Come and get us. Negative. Find capsule and retrieve a sample for DNA. Did you hear me say the fucking snake is out? The DNA is now your mission priority. Larson, the clock is ticking. You're free to go. Free to go? Go where? How? Away from here. I don't care how. That's not my problem. Here you go. Paid in full. We were supposed to pick up a military weapon, weren't we? Can't get in there. Secondary entrance is now closed for good. Larson. Go ahead. There's a negative on second entrance. Copy that. Your man's dead. Copy that. Did you see it? Problem go. No. They want us to get the DNA. Meet me at the primary entrance. What are we supposed to do? Get the hell out of here. They can't stay here. All right, look, I'm sorry I got you into this situation. But I'm telling you right now, if you tag along, I'm not responsible for you. There he is. You lose. I can't believe it. You 
is more resilient than you gave him credit for. The major lakes, I figured he'd fit here. He almost killed the guy. Maybe he had his reason for leaving. What did he do? He hit a guy in his head with a 100 miles per hour fast ball. On purpose? That's an unanswered question. Ready? Let's go. Somebody had a nice little firefight. Yeah, no shit. The access has to the lower levels on the far side. Let's keep moving. Was your cargo. You guys aren't afraid of snakes, are you? Come now! We have to get out of here! Fuck! Minus will wear off. Come on. It'll wear off. No lasting damage. No lasting damage? What about bloody? Was that no lasting damage? Well, now what? There's another entry point. West from here. Blown to shit. Still on fire. Once it goes out, we can go through. Yeah. Once the fire goes out. What about the cell phone? Can't you call someone? Look like Russian tries at a barricade. Yeah. Keep them in or out.
Maybe there's people still alive down there. Hey. Here. What is Chambert? Thanks. What's wrong? Anybody read Russian? <laughs> Perfect. It's too bloody. Save your eyes. I'll make an educated guess. You really did your homework, didn't you, Lars? This way. Check out the next room. I'll be in here for a while. Ah, it hurts. She'll be all right. Give it an hour or two. All these blueprints in the storage room. Any way out? Ventilation duct. Too small. Forget it. I'll be right back. Are you gonna give me a straight fucking answer? I'm CIA. From now on, you can call me Special Agent Larson. You got in? I got in. Great! I'm about the only living person that's seen this thing in action. This is how your cargo is being transported. So there, are, there are warning signs all over this. So I, don't, I don't think this is such a good idea. You got my permission. Open it up. We had a plane go down just like this back in the States. A little town called Ruby. This isn't a racing circuit, Cooper. I was a cop there at the time. Got all sucked up in this thing just like you have. The uh, specimen, the fucking snake, that survived the crash, started feeding on the locals. Military experiment. Genetic freak. Acid spitting, intelligent, damn near bulletproof. Perfect weapon. Company sent in some agents to neutralize her, but they got killed too. She almost got me, but I got lucky. We killed her. And believe me, that's not easy to do. Since I was a cop, the government drafted me into the agency to keep a lid on things. Now I'm pretty much the only authority on the matter. Now I'm gonna gather us a biosample and get us the hell out of here. Let someone else finish this job. How will someone else finish it? I can only guess. So now you know the whole ugly truth. Now tell me something. Did you really try and kill Phillips? I mean, everybody knew you had a hard on for each other, but was keeping a win that important to you? Was keeping your career that important to you? If so, maybe you and I have more in common than you think. Where's Lars? I found what's left of his cargo. Larson, go. Phil safe has been activated. What? I got the DNA. Give me some time down here. The line. Your ETA is now two hours and twenty-six minutes. Good luck. We need to check out the escape route. Yeah. It's gotta be down the other passageway near the intersection. We're gonna find a way out of here. 
Wait here. Let's go. Come on. Activated the failsafe. Shit. What the? It's a way out. Oh, fire still going strong. We'll have to extinguish it. Call it. Come in. I'm here. I need the other C4. We're gonna blow through these flanks. What about the civilians? Have them stay there. We'll come back for them. Let's go. Stay with her. This is gonna take a while. The bath. I know. Do you remember the first time we had a bath together? Your father kicked in the door. He thought you were trying to have your way with me. I was. What are you thinking of? Bye. Sorry, I didn't listen to you. Shh. Dwight. I'm right here. Don't you leave me. I'm just gonna go to the door. I'm just gonna go to the door. It's okay. Dwight? What is it? What is it? Are you all right? Dwight, what's wrong? Getting here. Dwight! No, are you all right? I oh, son of a bitch! God damn it, Nolia! Stay down! I told you not to leave me! I'm sorry. Get up! Who the hell are you? 
I am Colonel Zubov, the commanding officer of this base. What happened here? Use your eyes, American. The snakes, you bastards, dropped all my country to this. Yeah, we didn't drop shit. What does he mean, snakes? Way's blocked out by fire. We need C4 to blast through the flames. We need the C4 from the van. How are we gonna get up there? Ventilation ducks. Who the hell's he? Zuboff. He's the commanding officer of this base. What did you say? Ventilation ducks. Chefs are so small, nobody can fit in there. She can. Forget it. No way. It's her only chance, daughter. No. If she doesn't, we're all dead. Listen to me. The government's gonna deny any of this happened. All right, they're sending in planes. We're living on borrowed time. Stays here. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's not wasting time arguing about this. We'll all be dead in two hours. Anybody know any good church hymns? You know any good church hymns? I'll go. I'm not letting you do this. You can't even see. I don't think I have a choice. Go. Project has been moved to black. What? Black project, why is it black? Only in the case the Soviets are advancing. Project is now black. Who else is down there with you? I have civilians down here. Why? We received reports of a hardline transmission coming from your Nobody's area. using an inside line. Who's making calls down here? What's about the Russian? Shit. I've told them. 
I was a stupid fucking thing to do. Start murdering now, too? Piece of shit. Fuck. Piece of shit. It's black. No evidence, no witnesses. God. to your wife now. to hit that better? What? Come on, tell me the truth. Did you? Choke, man. It was an accident. Just in case you don't know, he's okay. He can walk again. I thought you should know.
four minutes to square base. This is Larson. The game is not over. Reset the clock. Repeat. Fuck! This is Larson. Reset the clock. The game is not over. Repeat. Reset the clock. This is Larson. Did you fucking hang on to me! What happened? Are you ready? Yeah. Finish your job. Good, you're here. You hand me that uh, C4? Thanks. No! No! Why? Why? Black Project, no evidence. That was my job. Truly, I am sorry.
you in, baby? And that. I'm going home. 